these two words will manifest your dreams into reality. Listen to this. Neville Goddard tells a story of a little nine-year-old girl named Lynn. And in her neighborhood is her best friend. They do everything together. Anyway, one day, Lynn's parents decided to go on a trip to San Diego as a family. But since Lynn and her friend are inseparable, Lynn's like, she's going too. And immediately the mom said, no, she's not going. And that was final. So Lynn complained to the dad and the dad said to her, Lynn, darling, have you forgotten God? He's the final authority. You go to God with everything. You've done it in the past and hasn't it worked? She said, oh, yes. And so here's what she did. Ready? Lynn closed her eyes and the dad couldn't see what was going on in her head. And then she opened her eyes. But she seemed different all of a sudden. And then she said these words, thank you. She turned to her dad and said, it's done. She's going. Check this out. The mom showed up and said, you know, I've been thinking it over. And I don't think it would be bad if they went along together. They'd be companions there down in San Diego. And it would be something always to remember. The dad said nothing. And Lynn just smiled. They went to San Diego, checked in at a motel. And Lynn asked if her and her friend could have their own room. Right away, the mom said no. She was adamant. So Lynn complained to her dad. And again, the dad reminded her about God being the final authority. She forgot. So she closed her eyes, made her arrangement with God, opened her eyes, and said thank you. Then the mom told the dad, you know, it may not be bad if they had their own room together. They can play together, sleep together, and what a memory when the whole thing is over. The dad agreed and then smiled with Lynn. Then when it was time for dinner, Lynn said they didn't want to go and just wanted to stay and play in the room. The mom's like, that's completely out. You two down here alone, you have to have dinner with us. So as usual, Lynn complained, and the dad asked, have you again forgotten God? Lynn closed her eyes, opened it, and said thank you. Then surprise, surprise, the mom said, I've been thinking this whole thing over and you know, we haven't dined together in so long. Imagine just the two of us dining together. What a thrill. So yes, let them have their evening together. The dad agreed and Lynn smiled. Boom. Three times in one day, the mom had a change of heart when Lynn said those two words, thank you. Think about it. When you say thank you and you mean it, what does it imply? That the thing is done, accomplished. In other words, you move from the state of desire to assumption, the feeling, which is a secret to manifesting. Now, what exactly Lynn saw when she closed her eyes? We don't know. But whatever it was, it convinced her to the point of knowing where she could say to her dad, it's done, we're going. And then it happened. So let me ask you, have you forgotten God? And I don't mean some separate being up in the sky. But as Neville says, God is your own wonderful human imagination. Know what you want and ignore the facts. Believe in the reality of what you imagine and say thank you. Then go your way and watch it manifest in your world because you get what you believe. Yeah. All right, if you appreciate this video, hit that like and subscribe button and that bell to help support my channel. And if you're ready to live the life you really want, then yo, click the link below to learn more about Law of Assumption Mastery, how to manifest anything the Neville Goddard way. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.